Hello there, internet dwellers. Welcome to a vlog. Now, I've been thinking a lot recently that I am a socially awkward person. I've already said this in a vlog beforehand, but I thought to myself, there's a lot that we share in common as awkward people, as socially awkward people anyway. And I'm going to tell you five things that socially awkward people actually do without probably knowing that they do it. So the first one is actually not being able to start a conversation when you're alone with someone in a room. You, I think a socially awkward person finds themselves all of a sudden when they're alone with someone in a room, they feel the need to start a conversation, but they don't know how to start that conversation. So in their mind, they're absolutely going crazy and they're thinking that the other person thinks they're crazy. It looks a little bit like this. Hey man, how's it going? Yeah, I'm good, thanks. <coughs> oh God, no, not this. Oh, he's looking at me like he wants to start a conversation. I've got nothing to talk about. My life is boring. What does he want from me? What do I think about? What did I do say? What did I do say? Just think, think. Oh, God, he's smiling at me. I'm going to have to move to Afghanistan, change my name to Mohammed, and sell carpets for a living. Screw this. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll see you around. Oh, thank God. Okay, bye. Number two is when you don't hear what someone's saying three times in a row and then you laugh it off and hope that they didn't ask you an important question or your opinion on something. Because, uh, yeah, you, I don't know, you don't want to come across as ignorant, like you, you're not listening to them or whatever. But at the same time, you want to know what they're saying, but you don't, but you don't ask them. So you just laugh it off and that can end very awkwardly. Oh, man. Hey, Ryan. Do you think I should break up with my girlfriend? What? I was wondering, do you think I should break up with my girlfriend? Sorry, say that again? I, I said, do you think I should break up with my girlfriend? <laughs> yeah, definitely, yeah. <laughs> oh, God, that's funny. The third one is an obvious one. You avoid everyone you ever knew in the street. Don't know why I've got these headphones on. What the hell am I doing? Whether it's someone you knew from school, like you won't avoid everyone, like your closest friends, fair enough, you'll say hello to, but it's just those people that you didn't really speak to in school, but you did, so your friends, but you really wouldn't know what to say to them when struck up in a conversation, so you would do your best to avoid seeing them. Like if you see them, for example, just hide by, by a bush, like that. Just, just casually waiting for them to go on your phone, maybe. Or, yeah, when they're passing by, just look down on your phone and pretend you don't see them. Or, do both at once, you just you walk past them, looking down, looking at your phone, and then there's that awkward part where they go, Ryan, is that you? And then you have to strike up a weird conversation. I don't know why we get so weird about that, because half the time the conversation isn't even that bad. You, you strike up a very good conversation, and I don't know why we do that, but we just do, I guess. The fourth one is actually, um, you can't get your point across, you can't get your sentence across without either stuttering or laughing like a maniac. You, you're trying to explain yourself when you know what it is clearly up in your head here, but it's hard to come out of here. So you end up looking like an absolute maniac. So yeah, it was really weird, like he got this pineapple, then he put it on top of his head, and like, he, he tried to like, um, what's it, he, um, he, uh, but what he did was he got the pineapple and he shoved it in. You know what I mean? <laughs> the fifth one is a very strange one. We all have like any socially awkward, not even a socially awkward person. I guess this is one for everyone, but mainly socially awkward people to the extreme lengths. Like we'll find that with me, you have a mannerism that you do when talking to someone to kind of like make things, you find it makes things less awkward. I don't know how to explain it. Mine is doing this with my hair. Sometimes I don't know what to say and I just keep doing this. And eventually like I'm gonna, I'm gonna have like a, like a pattern up here soon, a little receding hairline that goes all the way up here. Cause I always do this with my hair and it makes me look freaking crazy. You'll never guess what Ryan, I actually bumped into, what's his name, Stephen the other day. Oh yeah. And he was telling me basically that he's got a new puppy. Really? His puppy actually crapped on his bed. Oh, that's crazy. And it wasn't just any crap, <laughs> it was. Oh, man. Are you okay? Oh, God. <laughs>
And that is it guys, that's the top 5 list I can think of. Being a socially awkward person myself, I do all 5 of these things on a day to day basis. If I can avoid it, I'll stay in my room and just not have any contacts with the outside world. But sometimes we've got to go out there and sometimes we've got to make fools of ourselves because something inside us tells us that we're not good enough for the world and we're just awkward people and we come across that way. I don't know what it is, but hey, we'll get over it one day, don't worry guys, it just takes a little bit of practice and a little bit of conversational speaking skills. If you guys did enjoy this video, why not leave a like rating down below, and if you're new to my channel, why not subscribe for more little vlogs like this and also some games. Goodbye guys!